I'm Lane Murphy, and I am the business manager at Prescott Center for the Arts. Well, obviously, person-to-person um, -person contact is required when you have theater events. So really, everything just kind of came to a screeching halt, which was uh, something that our manager, uh, that our executive director jumped on right away for community safety. Um, and we just kind of went into the same mode as everybody else. Let's all stay at home. And then everybody just kind of let creative people do came up with alternatives. Uh, we decided that we would use our YouTube channel through our newsletter um, to put together a weekly show for people to watch. We also started a program called PCA Serves, which is a community service program. So we had to have hybrid work settings where we only had one or two people in the office who were socially distanced and masked. We had to increase all of our cleaning protocols that were already good, but had to include interventions for the virus specifically. Then our executive director came up with the idea that if we converted our main stage stadium style seating to cabaret style seating, and then reduced our population, increased our ventilation, we might be able to safely at some point begin to deliver entertainment again, which we did in November and December of this year. So there's been a lot of adaptation. And part of that, having the theater open for November and December when the COVID numbers were more reasonable in our county was socially distancing the tables. And that's why we had to have the reduced number in the audience, socially distancing the performers and making sure that, that people were safe during rehearsals and that the environment was sanitized. We were very successful with keeping people safe. Um, but then the COVID numbers went back up and we felt that it was not in the best interest for the community for us to continue. So we are looking at staying in our, you know, hybrid modes of some people at the office and some people at home. In April, we have a show that's going to uh, be presented called Red. And the people, it, it's a it's a two man show and the director and those two actors have been um, continually quarantining or, or at least associating together in safe measures since before the pandemic really shut us down uh, because they were getting ready to perform it before all this happened. <laughs> and so what's nice is that they have safely been able to continue to hone that show and we'll be able to present it in April. It's two things, the adapting to overcome the situation by modifying the, modifying our regular stadium seating to cabaret style seating, which was tables and chairs distance. That we're very proud of that and all of the people involved in that. And that was the brainchild of our executive director, Robin Allen. But for me personally, it's been PCA serves because what we were able to do with PCA serves is we got into our database and we called over 5,000 people in the, in the Yavapai County area, the Quad Cities area, anyone that we serve in our community. And we called them and just said, hey, listen, you know, if you're homebound, if you're older, if you're advised to be at home, we can send people safely out to run errands for you for essentials. So before all the grocery stores were delivering, there were some that were, but not everybody was. And before the pharmacies were all delivering, we started doing that for people locally here in, in the city. I had a team of about 50 volunteers that are normally actors or seamstress or production people, lighting crew, sound people that all pitched in to take time out of their day to go and shop or pick up or go to the mailbox, just whatever whatever essential things that had to be done. What we did was we just did it in the safest possible way. And we were able to help people who were homebound. We reached out to everyone in our, in our entire system and let them know that if they had elderly relatives or neighbors or anyone in need that was not navigating all these deliveries online or on their smartphones and stuff, that we were here to just do it the old fashioned way. And we're doing that now with the COVID-19 vaccination. So we've got a bank of callers who are reaching out for just a wellness call. How are you? You know, how have you been? We've been doing a lot of those kinds of wellness calls. So PCA Serves has been involved with collecting food for the food banks, which was really important when so many people were out of work and more dependent on the food banks, distributing food at the food banks. We also volunteered with a local doctor's office 
um, and provided them volunteers for the drive-through testing before they were able to find staffing. So our volunteers would, you know, wrangle traffic, take paperwork, and do all of the non-medical parts that are essential to organizing drive-through testing. So we've just been able to reach out to our community and support them the way they've supported us for 50 years. And it, that was probably the proudest thing about all of this for me. Next month will be a year that we're into it. And because we have really a pretty good social structure here for seniors in Prescott as a whole, and a lot of people are very savvy with Instacart and all the pharmacies, you know, stepped up their deliveries. As time went on, the, the need wasn't as great. But in the very beginning, you know, like I said, we made 5,000 calls and everything from just visiting with people to let them know, hey, we're here. How have you been? A lot of times people just took advantage of those phone calls to just have some company. That wasn't the TV, you know, um, but the actual physically going on the errands. I would say at this point, it's been in the range of 200 people that have been positively affected. And we are daily watching, you know, the vaccine supply. So as we go forward, you know, that's really uh, a large part of the focus now. Our gratitude to the community is continual. I feel privileged to work for a director, an executive director that understands that giving back. And that's put us all as employees in a position to be able to do so. And, you know, been able to manage a way to keep us all at work. So we have a lot to be grateful here at PCA.